So, what's up, good people? Rashid Wims once again. So, um, I wanted to show you guys this foot technique that I use. It allows me to do some really cool things, some really fast things. A lot of people ask me, do you play with a double pedal? I'm like, no. Uh, growing up in the church, that was against all the rules. No cheating in the church, you know? So, we do it with one foot, you know? Um, so, uh, it's very actually not that complicated. I play on my toe. A lot of guys, I mean, essentially it's what works for you, but this is what worked for me. Uh, I play on my toe. So, single, double, triple. Now, the motion is exactly the same as a double, but it's getting your foot to throw the last hit in, almost using part of the rebound of the pedal itself. So, fun fact, I play my pedals at a little tighter tension, just so that when I wanna get that speed going, the pedal moves with me, rather than I gotta like really like force it to do certain things because the more loose the pedal, while it's loose, it does also doesn't rebound as much. So, um, yeah, so let's, let's work through this a little bit. Single, double, triple. What you wanna do is literally play a double, and right when you get to that, instead of holding it, and like keeping the beater pressed against the head, allow the pedal just to do what it naturally does and hit it again. Keep it, if you can, all within like the ball of your foot. Only use that muscle group, the ball of your foot to your toe. And essentially, it allows you to get some really cool speeds happening. The smaller the muscle group, the faster you can go, which I'm sure all of you know. So. Um, that's really how it goes. And of course, tons of practice, a lot of practice. Um, I mean, even down to just the constant kicks. All on the toe. And then like I said, once you wanna really got, get that speed going, try it, single, double, triplet. So, a couple ways you can practice it. Uh, the easiest way I always tell people is snare kick hi-hat, like you don't need all of this to get some foot technique going. So, just misplace the snare wherever you want. It doesn't have to be every time. And just get that coordination going with your right hand and your right foot on those triplets. Now, if you wanna just really get like a nice combination exercise going, you can do triplets and singles. Or you can do singles, then triples. That's another way to do it once you start picking up that speed. Um, I would suggest a metronome, <laughs> just so that you can really like know you're locking in there. And I'm a, I'm a rock fan, and you know when I listen to a lot of what these amazing drummers are doing, and these breakdowns, it's all about the breakdown. I got to a place where I said, you know what, I want to be able to play those breakdowns with one foot. So, when I play the... Like, I literally, that's what I started thriving off of, right? So, um, all those exercises led me to that point where I was like, oh my God, I can actually figure this out now because I'm on my toe, I'm at the smallest muscle group I can use, and I've been practicing these triplets nonstop. So next thing you know, I'm able just to do it. So, hopefully you guys use it. Hopefully you guys are able to like just incorporate it in your playing. Like I said, practice, 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 practice. Uh, it doesn't make perfect, but it makes improvement. So. Yeah, man, have fun doing the single, the double, and the triple.